we've been looking for a tractor forever and now we found one that's like it's only like an eight hour drive away like outside Boise Idaho so I guess uh, I'm going to do that now I rented a trailer to pick it up because our trailer is not big enough and so I'm off bye I guess I don't know I'm still, yay I'm very anxious a tractor is gonna make a big big difference in actually being able to level stuff out here I'll just walk over to the bank. No big deal. This wasn't happening two minutes ago. It's amazing how flat Eastern Oregon can be. This isn't Kansas. As I've never even driven a tractor before, the seller was kind enough to back it up under this trailer for me. I am terrified about the eight hour drive getting this thing home on a trailer that I'm not quite sure is big enough. Here he comes. Jesse's home. <laughs> that guy. Damn. All right, girls, what do you think of the tractor? I love it. That's pretty exciting, huh? I wouldn't like getting on it. Yeah, me too. Maybe later. Aww. Babe, I have to figure out how to use it before I can show you guys how to play around with it and stay safe. So this is the back home part. And yeah. so the seat here oh, is shoot, for shoot, shoot. digging. Yeah, you asked the question. Jules, listen. Like this. Yep. So it's like a big digger arm for digging trenches or whatever. And then this seat is for dragging it around and using the big scoop on the front. And we can use it for our house. Yeah. And note: If you're driving down the freeway with the bucket hanging off the back <laughs> end of it, make sure it's secure so it doesn't droop over time. And I, love it, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, you love it. Ask me how I know about that. <laughs> I don't want to know. I love it. <laughs> Is it because it happened to you? Yes. So, honey, do you think my tractor is sexy? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> what did she say? You named it sexy. <laughs> Once I learn how it works, then you guys can sit. Yay! As it is now, it's a very large, very dangerous tool, and I don't know how to use it yet. Yay! <laughs> Yay! It took me like an hour at the pilot station to figure out how to turn it on. <laughs> When that was dragging the Oh man, yeah. that is nuts. Yeah. Don't you have to put the things down so that it can come down? Oh. Uh. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Task <laughs> one successful. I love it. Now do some wheelies. <laughs> yeah. Get your water bottle. One can go grab the water really quick. Um, keep going. <laughs> I'm not messing it. It's gonna move that friggin' branch out of the way that's been bugging us. Well, first he's moving this out of the way. Look at that! Yeah. First order of business. Yeah. He did it! <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! I know, stupid branch. <laughs> You did it! That's awesome! <laughs> oh, Do a victory dance, girls! Victory dance! Woohoo! Tractor! Yay! 
<laughs> Heading back into town to return the trailer. Might as well do trash and water too. Now that we've got this, we can try and level out a spot for our cabin thing. <laughs> And we'll see if we can push down a tree. I don't have like claws or anything to like pull it out, but let's just start fucking around with the tractor. <laughs> Probably want to stop using that. Yeah. What? Probably want to stop using it. I'm trying to put it back. Yeah, I see that now. Nikes. That reminds me of watching a kid dig with one of those diggers at a park. <laughs> Jesse! 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 is leaking. I guess I need to change that. I have no idea what I'm doing. My understanding is it should be fairly straightforward. Let the pressure off, take off the hoses, unscrew them, and then get new ones. So everything's off. My understanding is to get the pressure off everything, you just, whatever you move, if something goes down, like if it's off, there's no pressure to bring stuff back up. So if you just let gravity do the work, then everything's in a resting state, then there's no pressure on anything. So, like that. So there's gravity doing its work. 
There's gravity doing its work. I can hear. Okay, so that's the one that's issues. I can hear that sucking air. So that should be all the pressure off of that. I probably want this lowered to reach this. Yeah, how the hell are you supposed to? I guess this needs to come all the way out and set down. Shit. Tell me I don't have to take this whole fucking thing off. But it looks like I have to take this whole fucking thing off. I do not have the tool to get those things off. So I guess I'll have to add that to my list. Come on. Alright. I'll find it right away. One eternity later. I got it. Okay. So that finally came out with a little WD-40 and a whole lot of beating with a hammer. Can I access where the hoses are friggin' attached now? Jeez. Well, I still can't reach it, so I guess my options are to start it up and try and move the piston in so I can actually reach it. Or take out the pin over here. I'm not too thrilled about either of those. Hooray for hydraulic fluid everywhere. Oh god. Thank you, Hexus. Well, there's that, I guess. Now I can access these. This is what I use to knock that thing out. I guess I should have had a bucket or something under this, but why not? I don't even, I don't know. It's gonna matter which ones of these is which. Well, I already took them off the other side, so cool. <clears throat> Take these in and get new ones, I guess. So we got our hoses, we got our hydraulic fluid. I was told that probably is good to use. I don't know. We got a big ass funnel to reach way down in there to refill. And we got the C-ring snap ring pliers for putting the pin thing back in without it being a nightmare. Uh, and all that came to $356. The hoses were a little over $200 plus all the other crap. Let's get these hoses back on, I guess. Yeah. Cool. to get through. I guess I probably want to pump some fluid through them. 
All right, so that fluid goes in that red thing there. I put that whole bottle in and didn't see any change on the little indicator that you can see right, right there, that little white dot. I was told that you'd be able to see that change color or something when there was enough fluid in it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see what happens when we turn it on and try and pump some fluid and see if any squirts out a bit. I don't know if you need to bleed these. I assume you do. I saw a video of a guy saying that you don't, that they self-bleed, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just going to set these up and then wiggle the thing back and forth until something squirts out of them and then hook them up, I guess. These are in a weird angle to not drain out past here, so I don't fucking know, man. I guess we'll just go with that. <laughs> hey, having the right tools helps. Well, after a bunch of fighting and finagling with the hoses and trying to get them in the right spot and getting everything screwed back in, Everything appears to be in working order now. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to leave a comment, not only does it give us warm fuzzies, it also helps grow the channel. So thank you again and take care. Lego tractor, that's cool. Why does it say Lego city? Tractors aren't in the city. <laughs> I need a Lego tractor set. Tractor. I bought this since Daddy got a tractor. I thought we should build one together. <laughs> I love it. There is a bunny.